There are over 128 million open source projects on GitHub, and every single one of them has the potential to change your life. Whether you're building your GitHub street cred, fixing a bug, adding a feature to a project you personally use, or just fixing typos, every pull request you submit moves you one step further in your development career. GitHub is the new resume, and every contribution you make builds your collaboration skills and associates your name with the massive community of driven individuals out there making software for fun and profit. And you don't have to be making massive changes to make a difference. Just helping out wherever you can with whatever you can is more than most will ever do. You don't even have to contribute code. So many projects would love if somebody would simply help with writing documentation. So there's no time like the present. Let's learn how to find an open source project and make your first contribution right now. Just like anything else in the world, the first time is always the hardest. So here's a simple seven step system for contributing to open source. First off, you have to find a project to use. I wouldn't recommend individually browsing through millions of projects on GitHub. Instead, take a look at the explore menu at the top of the screen. From there, you can browse by topic or go to specific topics like good first issue or contributions welcome. But honestly, the best place to start contributing is with a project you already use. Take a look at a package.json file or a go.mod file File. All of these projects are open source and might need your help. Once you find a project, take a look at the issue queue and find something you're comfortable with working on. You might even take this chance to start a conversation on an issue, but either way, this is how you get started. All right, so now that you found an issue you want to fix, the next step is to take a quick look at the project's readme to see if there are any specific rules to contributing. Every project is different, so your mileage may vary. Now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and get into coding. Head up to the top of the page for the project you've chosen and hit the fork button. Choose yourself as the owner and leave everything else alone, then hit the Create Fork button. Now you have your very own copy. Click on the Code button and copy the path to your fork, pop open a terminal, clone the project, and make a branch. The next and very important step is to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. Thanks. Now it's time to make your changes. Your change might be just fixing typos, updating docs, or even introducing a new feature. No matter what it is, be thoughtful and considerate with your changes. Someone else's code is their temple. Don't walk in with your muddy shoes on. All right, done with your changes? Add, commit, and push up to your fork. It's that simple. Now, head over to GitHub where you should see your branch. Hit the new pull request button and you will be presented with a screen to open a PR on the parent project with the changes you made in your fork. Open the PR and leave a comment. If your PR resolves an issue, mention the issue number in the PR notes so GitHub can automatically annotate and potentially close the issue. You've now successfully completed the easy part. Now you wait for feedback and reviews. Some projects will have a stringent review process and some will just merge your stuff with no questions asked. So prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Remember that everyone working on the project likely feels passionate passionate about it, so don't take it personally if you get a bunch of feedback. It's just part of the process. All right, people, that's how to contribute to open source. I'll leave it here, but just remember, one of those commits could change your life. Keep contributing to build your portfolio, and someday it might just pay off. Till next time, happy coding.